Conference USA football on a Friday night. No Case Keenum. Houston does keep it close, but UCF holds on to win 40-33. Tulsa visits Houston next week. And welcome back to Friday Night Live, everybody. Tonight scores on our ticker bottom of the screen. Hey, you kids like the college football? Yeah, you like the college football. Big three preview time now. Open wide and say ah. Was a loser. Well, the times certainly are changing in Stillwater and Waco, where Oklahoma State and Baylor preseason picks to finish at the bottom of the Big 12 South play each other Saturday for the right to sit atop the Big 12 South standing. You know, eight weeks ago before the season started, I think, you know, most people would thought you were crazy, but, I mean, it's just two teams that just kept plugging along. do not really believe what people were telling them and just play their game and play well. You know, we were atop the Big 12 South last week. People didn't think we'd be there for long, but, you know, once again, we're here again, and it's our job to stay up there. Expect puntos aplenty. The Cowboys and Bears have the Big 12's top two offenses and two of the nation's top eight. Yeah, down the middle, touchdown, 10 to life. For Baylor, it all starts with quarterback Robert Griffin. 20 touchdowns passing, seven more rushing. One thing he's good at is, is running a little bit and then throwing the ball. And uh, so that, that's going to make us be more disciplined. Uh, one player certainly can't make a team, but one player can certainly elevate you. The nation's leading receiver, Justin Blackman, makes his return to the lineup after a one-game suspension. Cowboys favored by seven and a half. Kickoff in Stillwater, 11.30 a.m. They are I don't know how to handle you guys. You know, we're obviously aren't that kind of team where we were in, you know, when we we're having undefeated seasons because since we already lost one. So Bob Stoops a bit testy this week as his Sooners just 21-17 and 17 away from Norman since 2005 going back on the road Saturday to face Texas A&M. This isn't our first time playing at A&M. You can look at that too. The Aggies suddenly a team nobody wants to face. Ryan Tannehill has taken the reins at quarterback, throwing seven touchdowns in blowout defeats of Kansas and Texas Tech. I don't want to diss Gerard Johnson or anything, but I mean, Tannehill is really good. He's mobile and he can throw. I mean, he, he's just uh, a lot of problems for a defense. Kickoff from the home of the 12th man, 6 o'clock. Sooners favored by a field goal. Hurricane, last seen atop Cloud Nine last Saturday at Notre Dame. But it don't get any more special to beat Notre Dame at Notre Dame. Back home this week to take on Rice. Tulsa just a game back in the Conference USA West Division race, but to win the thing, they can't afford even one more loss. Uh, we're going to have to win out to, to have an opportunity, and uh, it all starts with Rice, and you know, you can't look anywhere past that. Golden Hurricane favored by 17 over the two win Owls. Kickoff from Chapman Stadium, 1 o'clock. Oh, yeah, baby! Yeah. They are Hey, we don't want to leave out the Hogs. Big one tomorrow. Number 18, Arkansas, visiting number 19, South Carolina. Kickoff, 6 o'clock. Gamecocks favored by 5. Jinx looking to put a bow on yet another district title as we go back to the high school stuff. Hosting Norman tonight, second quarter. That's Sawyer Cole Morgan, Brandon Kitchens, 38-yard touchdown. 14 nothing Trojans there. You win, Jinx. You always do. 38-14, the final undefeated regular season for the Trojans. Playoff teams out of 6-8-3, Jinx, Broken Arrow, Norman, and Muskogee. And out of 6-8-4, it is Union, Owasso, Bartlesville, and Bixby. All right, back out to